Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos. Welcome to week three and we have blocks five and six today of the square on point so along. This is going to be the first block. Before I go into describing the blocks to you, I want to give you a little demo and explain to you how the square on point blocks work. I get a lot of questions about the measurements for the square on point and they don't seem to work out. And it makes sense that people don't understand because the math is just crazy. So this is, for the first block we're doing, These I'm using these as an example. This is the square on point patch and this is patch D for this block. And it's cut three and three eighths inches. But people say, how can this be a four inch finished square if it's cut three and three eighths inches? The die for the AccuQuilt, if you measure this, it's three and a quarter inches. So that's a little bit different, but they all work out. Don't know how, it must be magic. But if I put this on the grid, you can see it's one, two, three inches, and then three eighths here. If I take this and put it on point, which we do when we are doing a square on point, I'm going to put this right in between. So I've lined up the point, the top and bottom points with this line, and then the center points with this line. So we can see what our measurement is. And right away we see that this is bigger. So let's move this down. So now I'm going to count one, two, three, four, four and something. It looks like almost four and three quarters. Because we put it on point, so now we measure the diagonal. This becomes the length and width of this patch. And the same thing with the, the blade. Once you measure this, you get a bigger measurement because now it's set on point. So it makes the length and the width bigger. Then the second question is, how does a two inch finished half square triangle go in these sides? And this is for a four inch finished square on point. So let me explain about triangles. Here are two sets of squares I've cut for half square triangles. You can easily make a square on point unit using four half square triangles. So if we move these around, and let's see, and I'm going to mess this up. This is going to be our square on point, which is this. And then we take triangles and we put them in the corners. These are different sizes, so don't let that throw you off. You can easily make a square on point unit using four half square triangles. They'll look the same. They'll have seams here in the middle and it takes a little bit longer to piece. And the biggest thing is a lot of you are fussy cutting these. You can't fussy cut if you do this. So I prefer this method. Once you understand it, it's easier to do it. So now let's finish filling in the square on point. These are, I've cut these from squares into half square triangles. And they're going to go here and here. Now these are cut a little bit larger and we're going to trim them down. So that's the same thing. You have your half square triangles in the corner and your square on point in the center. It's the same thing. And the measurements come out because you have, you're working with triangles and angles this way, even though you're still using a quarter inch, somehow they all come out. But for our demo today, we're going to cut these a little bit bigger and trim them down because I think you'll have less problems if you're having problems with the square on point unit. So that's why the measurements are different. Uh, and I also wanted to say, if you look looking at this and say you, you look at this block online and you want to deconstruct it, how did they make that block? And you see the square on point and you want to know how big it is. Well, this is, we'll call this two inches finished. So two plus two is four. So this is a four inch finished square on point. And half of that is one of these half square triangles. And this is a two inch finished half square triangle. So if you're looking to fill in a four inch finished unit 
and you want, want it to be a square on point, you know that these triangles are going to be cut for a two inch finished half square triangle. That's what you have over here. So I hope that makes a little bit more sense. You know, there is a little hocus pocus going on, I think, with these weird measurements and how does that fit in there. But it all seems to work out. And so now let's go on with the block. Block five is called crackers and it's 12 inch finished as all the others are. Here's the diagram. Our units are four patches that are in the corners. Our square on point are the side units. Mm -hmm. And a plain block is the center unit. This is a three by three grid. We have three units across and three units down. Since it's a 12 inch finished block, every unit in each grid space measures four inch finished. So let's look at the patches. Patch A is a two inch finished square. We cut two and a half inch squares and we need eight patches for the dark fabric and eight patches for the background. These are the four patch units in the corner. You can cut the patches and if you have AccuQuilt, you're cutting patches. And here are the AccuQuilt dies. All of the AccuQuilt dies listed are here. We're going to use strip piecing to piece these four patch units. Patch B is a two inch finished half square triangle. We cut two and seven eighth inch squares and cut them in half once on the diagonal. And we'll need 16 patches for the square on point B units. These are the corner units that we just talked about. These are the little half square triangle patches. Patch C is a four inch finished square. We cut four and a half inch square and we need one for the background and that is here in the center. And finally patch D is the four inch finished square on point. We cut a three and three eighth inch square and we need four patches for the side units. So we're making four square on point units for this block. The patch A corner unit can be pieced with patches or strip pieced, which we're going to do in this demo. And as always, make a test block before cutting multiple blocks. So our background fabric, we're going to cut patch A and C and we're going to use our strip piecing for this one. So for A patch, which is the half square triangle, we'll cut eight two and a half inch squares, or for strip piecing, cut one at two and a half inches times 21 inches. And for C, we cut one four and a half inch square, and that's this square in the center. For the dark fabric, we're going to cut patches A and B. And for A, we cut eight two and a half inch squares, or for strip piecing, cut one two and a half inch by 21 inch strip. And we'll use that with this background fabric to make the four patch units. In patch B, we cut eight two and seven eighth inch squares. If you want to cut them larger and then trim later, you cut these squares three inches. So you need eight three inch squares. Cut each in half diagonally once for 16 patches. And you just saw that in the demo before where these are the corners of our square on point unit. And finally, patch D is the light fabric and that's the center of our square on point. We'll cut four at three and three eighth inch squares. And here are all of our fabrics and our patches cut. These are for the strip piecing, the four patch units in the corner. This is the square in the center. These are our four square on point squares. And these will be the triangles that go around the square on point. And I'll finish cutting these. These will be cut in half once diagonally because we need a total of 16 of these triangles. So the first thing we're going to do is the four patch unit. You'll take your two strips Put them right sides together and sew them together lengthwise. Press the seams open and then we'll cut segments, two and a half inch segments. The strip is sewn and pressed. You can press open or press to one side however you like. Some people like to press to one side with these so they'll, they'll nest their seams, but however you like. I'm going to use my stripology ruler to cut these into segments. We're going to cut 
two and a half inch segments and we'll need eight of them to make our four four patch units. So we just take these and piece them together like this. And you'll make four of these four patch units. Next we're going to take our square on point patch and our half square triangle patches and make the square on point unit. I like to start with the opposite sides and I'll turn this triangle right sides up and the square we're going to match the top edge and center it as much as we can. And how I do that is I just check the size of these triangles that extend from the bottom and if they're about the same size I'm happy. And do the same thing on this side. Use a ruler to trim your nubs. Just align your ruler with the square and trim off the nubs on both sides. Now stitch the other two the same way. Now this has been pressed and we sew a true quarter inch with this because we want the square in the center to come out the size it should be. Okay, now it's time to trim our unit. We need to trim it down to four and a half inches. And I use a ruler that has the quarter inch mark along the two sides. Half of four and a half is two and a quarter. And so I find the two and a quarter marking and line it up at this point. And I want I want to make sure that there's a quarter inch between that point and the edge of the fabric and it's just barely there. And then I check this side and it's there so I'm going to, going to have some to trim off here. But then before you trim look over here and make sure you have enough to trim off on this side. So this is slightly larger than four and a half. I can trim that and my quarter inch is right there on that point. And then the same thing here, my quarter inch is a little bit off here, but just less than an eighth of an inch. And then I have enough room to trim off to four and a half. So when you're happy with that, then just trim off these two sides. And then flip this around and line it up again to trim off the other two sides. And this should be four and a half inches. So, but before you cut, check your quarter inch mark here and here. And I'm going to move this up just a little bit. And then trim off these two sides. Now I know I've been saying to use a scant quarter inch sometimes, but if we're making these triangles larger, and especially for the square on point, we cut this patch, the square on point patch, the exact size we needed. So in order for that to come out, we need to use our true quarter inch seam when we're sewing this. And since we cut the triangles larger, then we have plenty of room to trim them down. Now we have all of our units done for this block and we're just going to put the block together. And there it is. We'll stitch the top row units together, the middle and the bottom. Press the seams and then stitch the rows together. Now let's go on to block six. Block six is called windblown squares. Finishes at 12 inches like all the others. Here's the diagram. And we're only making half square triangles in two different colorways and then the square on point in the center. This is a four by four grid, four across and four down. Since this is a 12 inch block, the units for each grid space will finish at three inches. So the half square triangles all finish at three inches and the square on point takes up four grid spaces, so it finishes six inches, six by six. And we only have two patches. Patch A is a three inch finished half square triangle. 
We cut three and seven eighth inch squares, cut them in half once on the diagonal for two patches. We'll need eight patches for the background, eight patches for the accent fabric, and eight patches for the dark fabric. Here are the AccuQuilt dies that will cut this shape. Patch B is a six inch finished square on point. We cut four and three quarter inch square. We just need one patch and here are the AccuQuilt dies that will cut this shape. I'm going to go over the cutting instructions now and they might be a little confusing so I'm going to show each piece that's already cut. The background fabric we have in eight of the half square triangles and the center square on point. So patch A are the half square triangle units. We're going to use the eight at a time method to make these. So we'll cut one at seven and three quarter inch squares. Now if you want to cut them larger to trim down, you cut it at eight inches instead of seven and three quarter. That's for eight at a time, half square triangles. Or if you're making patches, you cut four at three and seven eighth inches, or you cut them four inches if you're going to trim later, and cut each in half once diagonally for eight patches. So your two choices on this one are eight at a time or patches. So for the eight at a time, you cut this large square, and I've cut this square, both of these squares, at eight inches. So this is the background square. And then we also have the background square for the square on point. And this is cut the exact size, four and three quarter inches. For the accent fabric, we have the A patch, but we're going to cut them for two different things. If you'll notice here, the accent fabric is in four of these half square triangles, and it's also in the square on point. So the first A patch cutting is for the half square triangle units. We're going to do these two at a time. So for actual size, we cut two at three and seven eighth inches. To trim it down, we cut them cut two at four inches. This is for half square triangles, two at a time. If you're doing patches, you just cut your two squares and cut them once diagonally for four patches. For the A patches for the square on point, we're going to cut patches. So we'll cut two at three and seven eighth inches for the actual size or cut them four inches to trim later. And cut each in half diagonally once for four patches. Here are the patches for the accent fabric. These are for the half square triangles two at a time. And these are for the square on point that we've cut into patches. These are the two squares for the half square triangles two at a time. And they go with this accent fabric. So we'll make a total of four half square triangles in these fabrics. And this is for the half square triangles eight at a time. We're going to make eight in this coloration. So the cutting instructions are, for the eight at a time, you cut one square, seven and three quarter inches if you want the actual size, or eight inches if you want to trim down later. And we've done the eight inch squares. For the two at a time half square triangles, you cut two at three and seven eighths for the actual size, or four inches to trim down later. And that's what you just saw. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is the half square triangles eight at a time. These squares are both eight inches. On the back of the light color fabric, we're going to draw two diagonal lines, like this, a big X. Put them right sides together match them up, and for each of these diagonal lines, you're going to stitch a scant quarter inch on both sides. So you're, you'll have two sets of stitching on this side and two sets of stitching on this side. And the next thing we'll do is to do the half square triangles two at a time. So on the back of the light colored fabric, we've drawn a diagonal line. We put these two, two together, right sides together, and we stitch a quarter of an inch on both sides of this diagonal line. We have both sets finished. This is easier to see on this side. Now we're going to cut them 
For the eight at a time, we're first cut on the diagonal line both directions. And you lift, you put your finger on this part of the ruler because we're going to use this part here that you can't see to lift it up like this, like a lever, and then move it out of the way because you don't want to slide it over this. You don't want this to move. And then you put it down the same way. You put it down on this side first and then line it up and hold it down and cut it apart. Then you're going to take this middle part, the horizontal and vertical. If you see where these stitches intersect here and here, we're going to line this up and cut right down these where these intersections are in the same way on this side. So first I'm lining it up with the stitching and then I check my angles. Then I line up a line here. So I'm lined up with a line on the ruler and then the intersections of the stitching this way and cut. So lift the ruler up again, hold this side and lift this side like a lever and move it out of the way. Do the same thing over here. Now you have your eight at a time half square triangles. There's eight and we have to trim them now to three and a half inches. You can press these, press your seams open or to the side however you like and then use your ruler, your square ruler to cut it down to three and a half inches or what I like to do is, is use my folded corner clipper. You place the three and a half inch line here at the bottom and you line up this, this horizontal line on the ruler, you line up with the stitching and then we're going to trim this part and this part off. So that cuts off your nub too. If you want to cut off the other one, you turn it around and line this up and then trim this little nub off. Then you go and press and you don't have to cut off nubs this way. For the two at a time half squared triangles, you do the same thing. You'll just cut it in half on the diagonal line and you can either press and trim or you can trim and press. You do these the same way as you did these others and trim them to three and a half inches. Next we'll piece the square on point the same way you pieced it earlier in the video. You'll sew a regular true quarter inch seam allowance because we cut this size, the exact size, and we cut the triangles a little bit larger. So sew these on and then trim it down to six and a half inches. The square on point is done and our two sets of half square triangles are ready. Now we just follow the diagram and put the block together. Okay, everything checks out. Now for stitching, you're going to have to stitch these two together and these two, press them and then stitch it to this square on point unit. Then I would stitch this row together and press it and this row together and press and then stitch the bottom and the top rows to that. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos.